Whoa. Um, all right. So as I'm scrolling through social media this morning, like I always do first thing in the morning after I thank the almighty for waking me up, I happen to be on Instagram and Damon Dash has on his page a conversation that he had with Shannon, the Cannon Briggs, former champion. Uh, Shannon Briggs announces that him and Iron Mike are going to battle. You don't believe me? Here's the footage. I just got off the phone with Mike. A word? I just got off the phone with Mike. What's good? You know what I mean? What's good? He said it's a go. What? When? He said, let's go, champ. When? Should we working on that now. You know what I mean? So you heard it out of my mouth. I just talked to Mike. I ain't going to lie. You heard? So everybody like talking clear. crazy about Holyfield and this one and that one. Keep talking. Just keep talking. Hold on. Let me just be clear. This is the official announcement right here. We heard it first. Shannon Briggs is right here by Tyson. Look at him. Oh, shit. Look at him. I'm going to have to chop that up and repost. You ready? You ready, Chad? Let's go, Chad. Let's Let's go, go, Chad. Now, with Shannon Briggs, I know sometimes you have to take what he says with a grain of salt because for the longest, we thought he was fighting Klitschko, right? Uh, well, the younger Klitschko, that fight never happened. So unless I get confirmation from Iron Mike himself, I got to take this with a grain of salt, y'all. But dude, Shannon Briggs, Iron Mike Tyson, we've all seen the footage of Mike hitting the pads at 53 years old, still killing it. He still got it. That's Iron Mike. Like 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 your boy uh, from the locks, um, uh, Styles P. Yo, that's Iron Mike. That's Iron Mike. That's the big homie. Still got it. Working the pads. Killing them. Ugh. Shannon Briggs wants to battle him. I thought, look it. Uh, they never fought each other back in the day. I thought because Mike had a thing where he didn't want to fight anybody from Brownsville. You know, uh, Shannon Briggs was from Brownsville. Riddick Bowe was from Brownsville. And I think he vowed never to fight anybody from his hood. That included Shannon Briggs. Like, he said he would never want to fight him. I think Shannon Briggs was like, yeah, I wouldn't fight him either. Like, that's the big homie. But... At the end of the day, money talks, I guess. Maybe there's some some dollars in this. But it's crazy. You know what? Mike is a very interesting individual because he was just on his podcast when he had Sugar Ray Leonard on there. And he was talking about how uh, how he's not a killer anymore. He misses that guy. You know, uh, I, I used to be a killer. You know, I was I was, I was so ferocious. I was a killer. And I'm, I'm not that guy anymore. I'm not that guy anymore, you know, and I miss him. I miss him, you know. It's, it's not funny. It's not funny because, um, you know, I, 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 I got this kill inside, and that, that's not me anymore. And I miss him. I miss him. Yeah. Like, it was like he had a breakdown, so I don't know if he had an Apollo Creed, Rocky IV midlife crisis where it's like, damn, we got to be, be in the middle of the action because we're the Warriors. And without a challenge, without some damn war to fight, then the Warrior may as well be dead, Stallion. I think Mike kind of had that because Mike felt like he's nothing without fighting. Like, that's, he was raised to fight. Like, that's all he's known. And now, you know, he's calm, he's humble, you know, he's smoking weed. He seems like he's in a happy place in life. But I guess there's that beast inside that, you know, he never really got to finish his career the way he wanted. Like, by the end of his career, he just didn't have it in him anymore. But that beast was always still in there. And now he wants to come out. But Shannon Briggs, I don't think, honestly, y'all, I don't think I want to see this fight. Simply because I fucks with Shannon Briggs. I fucks with Mike Tyson. I don't want to see either one of them get hurt. This is like on some Ultimate Warrior Hulk Hogan shit. I don't want to see either one of them lose. I don't want to see Mike uh, hurt Shannon Briggs and vice versa. Because Mike Tyson, all right, Mike was my guy growing up. Yeah, you, We can have this boxing debate, who's the greatest, okay, whatever, whatever, all right? Mike was my guy from 85 to 1990. It was all about Iron Mike. From 95 to 97, it was all about Iron Mike. Like, that was my dude. Iron fucking Mike, the champ. All right? I wasn't wasn't around during the Ali era. It wasn't until I got a little older where I realized, holy shit, Ali is the greatest. And I still say Ali is the greatest. Tyson will tell you Ali is the greatest. But growing up, Tyson was my dude. All right? I grew up on Tyson. I grew up on Roy Jones Jr. Those are my personal favorites. Okay? (sighs) <sighs> do I want to see Mike come back? 
in a, I, okay, I'd like to see him in an exhibition fight, like just an exhibition bout where nobody really gets hurt. Yeah, it would be cool to see Mike back in the ring again. But a part of me just wants to remember Mike the way he was. I want to I want to remember him as that ferocious killer in the ring, and to see that the man that he's evolved into. The humble Mike Tyson. I like that version of Mike as well. He's not talking about eating anybody's kids. He's not talking about uh, uh, murdering anybody or, you know, uh, <laughs> fucking the shit out of Eve. You got to watch that story, man, where the locks talked about how Mike said he would fuck the shit out of Eve. I thought that's one of the funniest stories ever. Yeah, Mike went through a period where he was kind of scary. Talking about fucking people in the ass and, you know, eat their asshole alive. Like real prison talk. I like this version of Mike. I don't, I don't want him to revert back to that. And that's what he said he was afraid of. But man, seeing him hit them pads, I think Mike would knock out half the heavyweights out now. Hell, he might even give Deontay Wilder a run for his money. You know what I mean? But I, I don't want to see him fight Shannon Briggs, man. I, I really don't. I'd rather see him fight Evander or Lennox Lewis to try to make those, to, to correct those losses because I feel like Tyson is the best heavyweight of his era. But, you know, the stats say otherwise because Lennox Lewis did beat him. Evander Holyfield still beat him. But when you look at when you look at all three of those fighters, let's be honest, you'd rather watch a Mike Tyson fight. Because, you know, when you saw a Mike Tyson fight, you saw a fight. You saw just, you know, you, you, you saw a show. Holyfield is not the most exciting boxer in the world. Lennox Lewis is not even the most exciting fighter in the world. Mike Tyson put on a show. He put asses in the seat. He's a box office draw. Oh, man. Yeah. What do y'all think about this, man? Like, I mean, if it happens... Most likely I'm going to watch it, but I don't know. I'll be probably like looking away from the screen like, because I don't want to see either one of these guys get hurt. Like, I love Shannon Briggs. You know, let's go champ. Let's go champ. Let's go champ. I fucks with Shannon Briggs, man. Like, dude, he, he's motivating you. Like, his energy is contagious. I love Shannon Briggs. I love Mike Tyson. I don't want to see them fight, y'all. I'm going to be that guy that's going to get in the middle of them like, like, like Trey and Boys in the Hood. You know, yo, man, y'all brothers, y'all need to be fighting y'all both from Brownsville. Brownsville, son, Brooklyn. Mm. What do y'all think about the soul situation, man? Do, do you feel like Mike has no business getting back in the ring? Do you feel like he should probably come back and fight Evander, maybe? Not Shannon Briggs? Come on, man. Y'all both from Brownsville. I don't want to see that, man. Comment what y'all think below, man. Comment freely. If you like it, did the content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to say like Mike Tyson. Um... This is this is Rich ID signing out. I see you in the next video. I I fuck with y'all.